M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to unbox the ICOM ID52E Plus model 60th anniversary. The main enhancements are the USB-C charging because the older model had the micro USB and also Bluetooth enhancements which allows terminal mode to be used with Bluetooth. I often get asked what's the key difference between the 52 and the Kenwood D75. The 75 has HF receive and also a built-in TNC and APRS. The 52 has DPRS. Now don't worry if you couldn't get, your, get hold of a 60th anniversary because the new 52s or the 52 plus even without the 60th will also have all these enhancements but for £50 more, $50 more, you get this nice titanium case that we're going to see in a minute and a leather strap. And the whole design is, you know, it's like a, well, you'll see soon. So let's get it, let's, let's get the lid off this box. And in the UK, it was £620 plus delivery. And I also noticed that, that Radio World are doing a special price on this. It's actually a good value. And at the moment, go for the 60th edition because soon... The normal edition will be virtually the same price. So we just get the lid off. It was like triple packed to make sure that, you know, that it, the box is not damaged, which I really like. I think good sellers will make sure that even the box does not get damaged. You can see their Bluetooth that they've got here, 52 plus E model. What's the difference? Well, the allocations of frequencies in the E and the A are different. A is America, E is, e is Europe. You have a Japan model as well. Just lift the lid off. And this, you know, I plan to keep this one. Am I going to sell the, the old one? Probably not. My actual is that it's got a battery on it. I always need a spare battery. And I, if I like the radio and I can test the radio, make videos on the older model um, for people that have got the older model because it's still a fantastic device even without the upgrade. So as you can see, we've got some protection there. I'm going to take that off. Wow. As soon as you see it, you are impressed, definitely. And there's that, you know, really well-made leather strap. Very nice. Very thin connecting, but strong, you know, not, not criticism. We'll take that out, we'll take the radio out. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you do not get a drop-in charger. Yeah, screen protector, which I'm going to leave on for a while. I mean, it does feel nice. The battery apparently is still the black one and they, it is interchangeable with the 51, the 50 and the, the, the 52. There it is there, made in Japan. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's a, the thing about the 52, it's a nice big screen. You get that waterfall as well, which you don't get on the 75. You just lift off the innards, have a quick look and then we'll get it onto the table and we'll test it. So lots of lots of manuals by the looks of it. Let's have a look what we got here. C mark there. Authorized dealers. Italian. And ICOM tend to do this. Basic manual. They're all basic manuals, I think. And you can download the advanced manual. I think I saw that as well in the box here. The belt clip which just, just slips in, we'll, put, we'll slip it in in a second. Just gonna show you the, yes, they do give you a, oh, that's a really good quality, uh, call it charging cable or data lead, that looks very nice. Another strap, you, you do still get the standard strap, you don't have to use the big one, because it is quite hefty. And the battery they've decided to give you is the 272 model, 1800 milliamps, but I would say you'd want the BP, 307 one if you want this to last you know like literally like a couple of days and what's this thing here bp what they oh a little brochure on the actual battery and then standard standard icon antenna so let's get this on the table so we'll pop the battery in like so careful not to press on the screen it just clips into place the the belt clip there you go and it does attach looking at it to the actual battery and it is black and then whilst we're turning it around let's have a look at that USB-C now you can buy an adapter if you've still got the 52 you can buy an adapter for about two pounds that will give you 
USB-C. So it's, you know, it's definitely nice to have it. You can still charge it using the DC input there. Um, but if you've already got a 52 and you're very happy with it, then then um, just buy the adapter. So there you go. There's the SIM card slot there, which I haven't even turned this radio on. You know, I'm, I'm, li I'm literally doing this live, unboxing it for the first time with you. Let's see if we get a better focus. Let's get the antenna on there as well. Oh, should we put the strap on first, I think? Let's keep these in the background just so they can watch the show. And if someone messaged me and says, do I prefer the 75 or the 52? No, I don't have a preference. They're both excellent devices. Do I wish um, the price of the 75 was the same as the 52? Yes, because I think around £600 is good value for such an advanced digital ham radio. And yes, it does do marine band, air band, all that kind of stuff on receive. And of course, D-Star. There's our strap, very nice. And we'll screw on the antenna. If I take off the antenna, the antenna does actually look a bit different, I would say. Let me have a look. Of course, the knob is different than the, the 52. Let me have a look, 52 normal. Actually, no, the antenna connector is exactly the same. It's the same knob, but the bottom one is silver. I mean, I have had a problem with the knob cracking and the LED fell out, but Hopefully that's all been sorted out now. Uh, screw the antenna on, like so. So we're ready to go. I haven't charged up the battery. We have plenty of spare batteries here. Let's fire it up and see if we can receive anything. And I have turned on my, my D-Star hotspot, which I'm just going to plonk here. Like so. Just fire that up from from DV Mega, and we'll see if we can just quickly put some DV into this. Uh, but like I said, it probably comes preloaded with the DR repeater list, if you're not familiar with that. It's a whole list of, of, of D-Star repeaters and gateways all around the world. And you can use the SD card to import them, export them, and change them. But of course, you can do it on the radio. And the software that I can provide for the 52 is fantastic. So let's just turn on. Good morning. Oh, I can oh, you can hear my my other one is actually picking up without an antenna. Oh, wow. That is uh, definitely It's picking up my hotspot. Uh, now, my the, uh, hotspot uh, isn't programmed in yet to the new one. So let's leave that, turn it down, and turn it on for the first time. See what it says. 52E+. Plus. Oh, it's, it's defaulted with the white screen. We'll leave it like that for a while. Now, if I just type in, uh, if I just go to press this and put in four, my hotspot is fourth. I'm turning to, until it goes the top knob. Four, three, one. Press the VFO again. Five, five, zero. It should pick it up, really. Actually, no, it's four, three, three. So press the VFO again. Change that to three. And then mode. And you're not going to be able to transmit just doing it this way, but you you probably receive. Okay, yeah, Look at that. Interesting. Um, I don't know. So within uh, seconds, I, I do that pretty well we're on D Star with this uh, hotspot from DV Mega. Miles, but, boy, you know, for Let's hold down. Years, uh, 30 meters. Get it into in single 40, receive. Really good. At 40. Uh, but, we haven't uh, turned uh, on no, GPS no, yet, but I let's do, let's do uh, the waterfall. Uh, we we'll go menu, uh, waterfall, uh, enter. Look at that. Um, and of course, you can I'm adjust, you, you know, the band spacing. Uh, Look, you're getting the details uh, come that, through. That's causing that. And if I hold it down, go to dual mode, you do lose the scope. And on the B, by pressing the main, we're on the B section and type in my 434550. Uh, five, I should get my node. And now that should actually work dual receive without the scope. So we go to A, press main, and we'll turn off the scope menu. Scope, we turn that off. No, we have to press VFO actually. So now we should dual receive. It's a bit bright, so I'm just going to dim it down a bit. So that's my hotspot. Look at the bottom on the B. Uh, the band's 
Scott we're dual receiving. Uh, oh, the screen's going right into here. dim as well. Look, it's not a touch screen. So you go menu, cross to the right, down to set. Look for display, backlight, and we're going to turn it on. And go back. We've got brightness as well and dim screen, but we're just going to back out for now. Let's do the color, actually. We'll go menu, set, display, background color, black. Which is definitely a preference. They're both nice. So that's dual receive. You can adjust the volume separately. You don't have to listen to them both at the same time. So let's uh, let's just quickly show you how you can send photographs. If we go menu and go to where it says picture, and obviously you need to load a picture, and there is an app that allows you to send and modify a photograph to this device via Bluetooth uh, straight from your phone. I'm not going to do that now. Let's go menu and we'll look at the GPS set on. So we just see the up there we've got it, you know, you can see the GPS up there. We are receiving the, these GPS transmissions via DR mode. And when it's activated, we'll send them out as well. But that's working really well. Can we just quickly put them side to side and then turn them round? Really, it's the same device, completely the same device, but with the USB-C that we've seen, same battery. Just trying to see any obvious differences, but I don't see a size difference. I don't see a size difference at all. Turn it back round. So what I'm going to do with this set, with the new model, I'm just going to start like I've never used one of these before, and I'll start making videos, programming your local repeater, adding DR memories, if we need to, in our DR mode. The way we get into that is, we'll go back to single receive, we'll hold down this button here, that's the main. We're in single receive. Then we'll hold down the DR. And we're in DR mode, but we haven't added our hotspot yet. And you can see there's the DR mode. I'm not going to do the hotspot one in this video. Let's just see if I can get the GPS to, to come on. So we'll go menu. If you go back to display, and then hit display, look. Go down to, where is it? Single band display. Select that. And then go G select GPS information. Then back out with the me the VFO is like your back button. Look, it's now just so we we actually do have a GPS lock, as you can see there. That's not manual. You can set the manual GPS. So then we'll go menu again, back to GPS, and we'll go to GPS information. Look at that, and that is exactly the same information that you'll get on your ICOM seven hundred five. And isn't it fun seeing all this data come through? Uh, so then we're back out again. Let's do position. Again, that's pretty much what you saw before. GPS alarm, logger, auto TX. Let's look what else we've got here. We'll go to FM radio and we can just turn it on. And my favorite is 94.3, which is radio one. Not the best signal coming in there. Was it 93.4? No. Let's see if we can get something. Not getting much in this shack. Anyway, it's got an FM radio. We'll back out. Menu. DV gateway. Now, the big change is that more items will work, yeah, using Bluetooth. And I do, t do plan to test this. DV gateway connection, let's just see what that says, Look, USB or Bluetooth. Yeah, so that's good. It means that apps like the RSM1A, all those kind of apps that you, you use to interface with your, your Android phone and with your PC can now be done via Bluetooth. If you go across to, keep going across to the right, you go to menu, this will be your 
your DR memory. So if we go down to repeat a list, look, they're all there. So it is preloaded. And then what you would do is you would add your hotspot here at the bottom, uh, at the bottom and use DR mode. I cheated. If you go back to VFO, I just put the frequency in. But the problem is when you transmit, you're going to need to put your core sign in there. So if I go menu, back, see if I can remember where the core sign is. Go up to the top. So we've got duplex tone. You've got the different settings for your scope there, which are extensive. I'll do a separate video on that as well. Core sign. There you are. You can put in your core sign there and my core sign. My station is probably the main one that you would put in. I'll, I'll make a completely separate video adding that. TV set. I mean, it's it, you know, there's a lot to learn on this radio. Definitely SD card, Bluetooth set. So I think this is just an unboxing for now. It's, it's quite a long video, and I'm very very pleased with it. I do think if you haven't got one, and you're, if you're trying to choose between the D75, which I love, or the 52, uh, the main reason you would go for the 52 is you get a bigger screen and you get the waterfall. To me, that is the main reason. It's a bigger device. Yeah. You go for the 75 if you want HF. So if I just, see if I can get on this on HF, we go to the B band and then push to the right, hold, eventually, you have to be on the B band to do this. There you are. We're on HF. It's receive only, but you're on HF. Look, and still receiving. It is dual digital receive. Both of these will receive two hotspots, two digital signals at the same time, and you will actually hear them. Yeah, I've tested that on my older 52 there. Nice big speaker. Sounds good. Receive and transmit. Very distinctive sound. You don't get a full keypad uh, like you do with the 75, so that's probably my third reason why you'd want to choose the 75. It's a thinner device, so definitely a thinner. Uh, both excellent devices, and um, I do have a leather case for mine. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel, it's been fun, 73. And please remember, if you like my videos, to hit that subscribe button, like, so you get notifications, and yeah, definitely recommend the DV Mega Hotspot. 73, all the best.